After Pedro Ramos deployed, his mother voiced concerns about the waning attention on our troops abroad. And young family friends started learning about a far-off place very different from home. Afghanistan. Ten-year-old Madeline Flayhart started writing letters to Pedro. I was writing a letter in class, and Ms. Jackman asked me what I was doing, and I said I was writing a letter for... Pedro. Mrs. Jackman turned it into a fourth grade class project at Serene Elementary in Chandler. They're not forgotten. Soon all students were writing letters to soldiers. Someone who shows courage. Full of simple, sweet anecdotes from life back home. I said, by the way, my name is Dayton and I love my family and I really, really like soccer. <laughs> The students also gathered supplies to ship. Toothbrushes, nuts, gum, chapsticks, card games. And they collected money to mail the boxes. I brought in coins, but like mostly everyone bought, brought in coins. The teacher says the project is mutually beneficial. Some of my kids don't have a lot of heroes in their lives. And the soldiers certainly give the kids someone to look up to. You set such a great example. Be safe on all your journeys. I might save the country too when I grew up. It started a thought process for them that maybe they didn't have before and what it's like to spend a holiday and not be around your family. I hope it makes them feel comfortable and really nice. I think, well I hope mm -hmm. that they'll feel um, appreciated, mm -hmm. that people care about them and they're not forgotten. A new generation learning about kindness and sacrifice, a comfort for those deployed. They're sending everything to, to him, you know? He's gonna see all of this. And their families back home. I love you so, so very much, okay? Love you too. Well, Pedro's unit will be on a mission and out of contact for the next couple weeks, but they'll have a lot waiting for them when they get back from the kids at not Serene, but Serene. I said Serene. It's Serene Elementary School in Chandler. And guys, they hope he'll come visit the class when his deployment ends in April. And I